Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof and we're back with more VTuber drama. Now this is kind of weird because this VTuber drama actually features people that I've seen and I'm actually subscribed to a lot of these people. Like what the hell? Usually VTuber drama is about people I don't know. I've probably heard about them once or some shit. But I'm subscribed to a lot of these shoujo and I'm subscribed to Nux. What the hell happened? Let's find the out. The VTuber community, a vibrant and often chaotic space, is yeah, no stranger gremlins. to drama. But few controversies have left audiences yeah, feeling damn. as dissatisfied as the one involving Vishojo and Nuxdaku. This complex saga, fueled by miscommunication, misunderstandings, and a misplaced sense of trust, misplaced exposed deep sense. rifts within the I will donate if you say it and explain. Brother, you just donated one dollar. If this is to Nux, Oh wait, this is Nux cheering. Oh, what the hell happened? Super community. Okay, we raised critical questions about transparency, accountability, and the delicate balance Thank of you power for between with creators our to and their fans. audiences. The story begins with Bishojo, okay. a popular independent VTuber agency, and Nuxtaku, a prominent indie content creator known for his insightful commentary and comedic takes on anime. Yeah, I've seen a couple of his videos. He's pretty dope. As I said, I'm subscribed here. And sometimes the VTuber world. God damn. Bishojo and Nux had a long-standing history, with Nux regularly collaborating with Bishojo members such as Project Melody, and playing a significant role in hey yo what collaborations have they done though and some of these creators we don't matter we Everything know her pointed to the fact that nux and vishojo were on more than good terms yeah at least that's why i publicly. thought but in october 2021 a series of events unfolded that oh, would dramatically alter their relationship fake vishojo emails were sent to two unaffiliated vtubers including nux in an attempt to solicit personal data for potentially attempting doxing attacking and even swatting Swatting is a severe problem, and it involves making a false point. Yeah, listen, if you swat people, you deserve to get a baton, police baton, shoved inside of your, uh, you know. Police report Come on. to prompt an armed police response no toward loop. an unsuspected victim. God this damn. dangerous, highly illegal, and widespread hoax puts lives at risk, as even a single wrong move can result in fatal consequences. Especially if you're in America, brother. Oh, if I get swatted in America, I'm suing for manslaughter. They try to kill my ass. Moreover, Straight up. Moreover, imposes substantial if I survive, financial obvious. burdens on government, often costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Damn. Nux, understandably concerned, reached out to Vishojo for clarification. The agency confirmed that they were aware of the incident and were actively investigating the matter. However, things took a dramatic turn when Nux, along with fellow content creator Murahar, uncovered the identity Murahar. of the perpetrator. Oh. On November 21st, 2020... How did you find out the identity of the perpetrator? What? Anyone, a month later after his tweets, Nux released a video detailing his investigation and uh -huh. the methods used to catch the scammer. Okay. Claiming his main goal would be to spread awareness about this fisher in the VTubing community and raise awareness nice. so no other VTuber would fall prey to them. In this video, okay, so far everything's chill. We cool. Everything's cool. I'm Next afraid of what the situation going in happen. its entirety and provides a detailed explanation of his personal involvement in assisting the cybersecurity team of Ishojo in effectively they have a cyber neutralizing team. the threat. Max outlines how he's received an email claiming he's been accepted into a V Shoujo edition. Knowing he hadn't applied, he contacted V Shoujo CEO Gunrun to warn him. Nux then, in a Gun clever run. move, managed to bait the scammer by giving him a burner phone number, gaining some of their information before passing it on to Gun. Okay, I'll be honest with you, this seems like something you're supposed to do with the police, maybe, or let the police do this, because if you catch him, what are you gonna do? Yeah, at best, you can expose him online, but that's kind of doxing, so you kind of, you are doing the crime. You know, and if you catch him, I don't think that means the police can really... I don't know how it works, but... Unruined. He texted I me think on the phone number shit. that I just got as a burner phone. It was pretty great. I'm very proud of myself, patting myself on the back for the epic foresight. The scammer himself epic was found foresight. bragging in a Discord server, and one of Nux fans who... 
smartest scammer in the world who happened to be in that server reported back to him and gave him proof of this as a video Damn. this dude was flexing that he got my real name and phone number which he didn't and he was posting it in his discord servers and one of the people as doxing god damn it that he was posting it was a fan of mine reached nice. out to me saying oh my god you got doxed which he didn't and uh <laughs> basically introduced me to someone that knows that guy personally <laughs> okay. he then went on to explain what that this that scammer laugh, had already swatted several people and targeted at least 12 VTubers, including Damn. himself. Here she has a tweet saying, Oh my god, I'm Sucky. so excited. My dreams are coming true, etc. etc. In other words, she just got an email saying that she was accepted into V Show Oh, and then the next God, and it was the fake dude. That's fucked, brother. That is so fucked. After that, here saying that the police are at my door. I don't know what's going on. I'm very scared. That is when she actually got swatted by this asshole. One of the victims in DV2 unfortunately prison. fell prey to the scam, believing the email to be real and providing her information and got swatted. After Nux posted the video, Vishojo's official account even responded to it, thanking him for working with them and nice. adding their own statement Everything's about the situation. Okay, chill. This Which response makes him more gave afraid. the impression that Bishojo was on? aware of the scam and actively working with Nux to address it. But Nux's video, while seemingly well-intentioned, sparked a firestorm of controversy. It did? Why? Bishojo members expressed their disappointment and concern on Twitter, fearing that the public release of the video could compromise their safety and reveal information that could be used to harm them. The situation Ow. escalated quickly. With asking for you to take it down, for the save and material for you to go to company, ask for numerous terms and conditions in return. That's not friendship. By the way, I've heard some things about fruit that. God damn, if it's real shit. God Visual damn, I can't look at that woman to say and their trust in nuts shattered. That model the same, I guess. Community fueled by I'm the pressure drama. to refer to someone such as Recipes, then with the real sketch criminals who swat the innocent creators. Begun to dissect the situation, scrutinizing every detail and offering a wide... At this point, you heard that you were doing this when you full well know what really was going on. We asked you to take it down. We told you we feared for our safety and you didn't care. Range of opinions. From this caused mouth. Twitter and the communities of all content creators involved to erupt in a when backlash. When most people tell you not to upload something because of their own safety, you don't. Fox Plus, I don't know who that is. ...against Nux. At the time this happened, Nux first remained silent, probably trying to work something behind I've the scenes. I heard scene. Nux that posted his doxing vid. He pledged his regard to his feelings and facts for security they've shared with him. I trust and fan him wanted to feel secondary gain clicks. He meant to say that if Warren's protection was he would have corrected it. ...but the general opinion okay. here was that he okay. was largely at fault. Okay, I mean... I, listen, we haven't seen the video, so I, I haven't seen the video. I don't know what he released, so I can't really Nianers speak on this. private message hey, on her Discord server What's took up, a Nianers? more critical stance, accusing Nux of oh, taking shit. credit for the work of Vishojo cybersecurity team and exploiting... Oh, uh, so it's just what I'm not Okay, okay, that's a lot. That's fucking a lot. She yeah, also voiced right. concern about the video's content, highlighting the potential dangers of sharing sensitive information without True. proper care. Though she kept this accusation within her own community and only into her supporters' channel, these were some of the most serious accusations levied against. I mean, listen, that's that. Listen, if you share something online, it doesn't matter if you share it with 15, 150, 150,000. If you share it with 15 people, it's gonna spread, especially when you're like a famous, you know, content creator. That's gonna spread. That's not private. That's not private. Private's between you, maybe another person. Against Nux during that you know the in entire life. event. Namely, accusing him of cloud chasing and of recording a friend in a Damn. secret call to turn it into Ooh. a video, as That's well as using fuck. her friend's face frequently for clickbaits. Being the internet, these of course got leaked almost immediately, mm -hmm. and the internet quickly disseminated Nianer's criticism, further fueling the conflict. Oh, shit. Nianer's, who's been an internet personality going back a decade, I think. Damn. Uh, she Ag? released uh, this Discord post specifically throwing Nux under the bus. What saying, is that dog? That's a lot cool for a little dog. For clickbait, that it was all for clout and that he completely jeopardized their safety. Now, I've gone through the entire video. He never mentions any of the VTubers aside from Saki, who seems to be pretty thankful for the video. Uh -huh. Any VTuber that was a target of these doxers. So the statement that he put them in danger 
It's a little, little sketchy. On November 24th, the indie VTuber Snuffy went to Twitter Snuffy. detailing an incident. I remember something about her. I think we've seen a video or two or she was in a video or two, but then that's... She a... had... Hey, yo, what the hell is going on here? By the way, if you don't think Yoda has a 9-incher, you're out of your goddamn mind. That shit hangs. I've seen it in the movies, okay? Go back, watch it. It hangs. With Nux back on her stream in March. She explained that she had received a donation from Nux Taku, daring her to respond to a self-harm joke in exchange for further donations. Nux what? frequently creates videos in which he offers to donate a certain sum of money if VTubers do something outlandish. This particular Damn. instance may have been one of those videos. However, Snuffy expressed oh, her dis- Oh, oh, I missed particular it. Instance Another example, Nux doesn't care about her team or making people uncomfortable for views. I was thought he was a good guy, famous in the community, and I didn't even know how to react to his initiative. Yeah, that's fucked up if he did that. Okay, listen, there is- there is- Things that should not be crossed, kind of. This may have been one of those videos. Yeah. However, Snuffy expressed her discomfort for being put on the spot on more such mula. sensitive topics. How long is this video? I will donate $50 if you have, if you have culture. What's the most iconic Japanese? A brother. A brother. Okay, that's kind of. Oh I mean, you can just. I don't. Okay, like this. Uh, it's 45 minutes long. <laughs> My second most would be like maybe like a I was given say, if thing. you say it and explain, okay, that's okay. If you say it and explain, why are you threatening me? <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm being held at gunpoint. That like, tail is soft. It, How do you know? Spell it out loud and explain. Kilometers. No oh, pressure meters? or anything, but I'll donate five thousand more. Of say, explain why Logan Paul is a legend. No pressure or anything, but I'll donate five thousand. A legend? More what? Say it, explain. Being a Logan Paul is a shit? legend. Oh my God. It's not the best. <laughs> Make it 7,000 bits still in the top 10 Logan Paul moments. Your top 10 Logan Paul moment. I mean, at this point, you're kind of weird. Are you... That's that. You're probably kind of weird to begin with, but that's okay. Everybody's a little bit weird, right? I mean, let's be honest. But... I like it when he opened Pokemon cards. I like his apology that? video. It's pretty cringe. I appreciate it. Watch the video as well. Right. Nux replied by showcasing DMs from a few months prior where oh, he and God. Snuffy yeah, had I'm a mouse mentioned that I made Junko to my name and I apologize. I then I'm sorry if I've said I apologize and I put it between us and no one else. And man, I have no respect to this. I hold a grudge or anything. Okay, I'm glad I didn't that was weird. I'm sorry. Okay, it seems like okay. Genuine conversation. I don't know why this is in public. It's kind of weird to public put this shit out but apologize to each other I guess but fair. then subsequently deleted this exchange despite nux apparent lack of social awareness in this situation <laughs> it serves to highlight the intense emotional charge of the moment even vtubers who typically avoid controversial topics were swept up in the heat of the moment nux oh, after damn. facing a barrage of criticism over the course of these three days finally responded first oh? by privating his video and uh. then Okay, let's see, let's see this. Uh, I try to take care of things behind the scenes, find out to respond. We should just throw in the VTubers on the set, protect themselves, try handling it professionally. Oh, damn. They threw in the VTubers under the bus. I never ignored the response. I mean, it's got, like, yeah. Why did the children not make an official statement when they knew somebody was going around? I get they were trying to catch the dude, but without making an official statement, like, yeah, people. By privating his video, get caught by and that then shit. by releasing a tweet longer explaining his perspective. Which the is? announcement of the video privatization itself drew criticism from several B Shoujo talents who phone. questioned the decision to keep the video oh, up Zen. for longer than necessary. Oh, baby. I'm surprised next to very follow video about me. I was already getting up head over an issue that didn't involve me. He didn't ask any questions, he just put it out there, calling me a talentless hacker and his fan harassed me over a year to this day. What the hell happened there? In the there? Tweet longer, Nox claimed that he had, in fact, discussed the matter with the Shoujo representatives and the cybersecurity team for over four hours. And even one of the members of the V Shoujo group who had approved his decision to release the video. He categorically denied that the V Shoujo team had not requested for him to refrain from uploading the video. Because okay. the statement was a direct contradiction to what the girls seemed to believe, this brought even more confusion to the situation. Yeah, what the hell? Is going the on. following day, Nux shared another <laughs> video on Twitter where he included receipts of conversations between him and a representative of Vishojo, where they discussed the video in question. The Vishojo team had requested it's several. A lot of these things seem like they should not be publicly shared. Like, is it just? Does it just seem to me like that? Like, a lot of this seems like. 
private conversations and those should not be posted online bro. Modifications for the video which Nux complied with. He claims that no one from the team specifically asked him not to post this video except for his brother who was concerned for his safety. Interestingly, in his the brother, messages, Mishojo even thanked Nux for his efforts in raising awareness about a public issue and even asked him to include their official statement. It's noteworthy that the statement was crafted with the assumption that viewers had already watched the video. Okay. Nux wanted once in the past and it scarred me. People die in these situations and coming close to it happening again terrified me. When I brought this to the attention of Mishojo, they told me that they knew this was going on for a while, never said anything publicly, and as a result of that, I okay. felt like Vishojo. Listen, Vishojo just kind of fucked for knowing this was happening for a while. I did not put a public statement that someone was using their name to dox people and swat people. That seems kind of fucky to me. Put me and others at risk. Before posting that video, I was in a group chat with the CEO one of Vishojo, Vishojo girls. One of the girls and the head cybersecurity officer. Vishojo acknowledged that they knew about this swatter for a long time and did nothing publicly. I didn't make the video to endanger anyone as the culprits were already brought to light. They acknowledged that they have no problem if I publish this video and it's entirely my right okay. as the victim of the swatter. Nevertheless, I showed them the video before uploading so they could let me know if I should make any changes or ask me to potentially not upload at all. Mm -hmm. They asked for changes like blurring things and denying the culprit's notoriety and I complied. My brother was the only person that asked me not to post the video because he was afraid for my safety beefing with us water but I thought it was prudent for the safety of others in the community and Vishojo mentioned that they appreciated me doing this public service announcement. When I mentioned this video would be helpful to them as well they thanked me and asked me if I can include an official statement from them and link in the description okay. which I did. The statement was written with the assumption that the viewers watched my video. They still refused to mention that someone was impersonating them and they continued to thank me for working with them. Their official statement had the header, thank you Nux for working with us, but it was deleted when some of the Vishojo girls got upset with my video and claimed that I was repeatedly asked not to post it, which is untrue. It's going on. Nux then offers an apology for neglecting the talent's feelings and failing to swiftly remove I the mean, video. Hey, listen, if he didn't mention any of the talents, if, if he didn't show any information about them, then their opinion doesn't really matter here. Am I am I wrong for saying that? Like, if he if you're not mentioned, like he mentions the company, obviously you're in the company, but like. What? Furthermore, he expressed so his regret now. for requesting a retraction of their statement as a condition for taking down the video. Additionally, this video provided an important piece of the missing puzzle, Which a is? censored screenshot of the group DN where the controversial video was being discussed. It revealed the presence of Gunrun, the CEO, a censored Vishojo member, the Vishojo representative Phoenix, and Nuxtaku. However, Internet detectives were quick to corroborate this with a now redacted tweet from Fruit showcasing DMs between her and Nux. In these messages, Nux mentioned that Project Melody was the uh -huh. one that was part of the group DM and was aware of the situation. This revelation raised eyebrows as it contradicted the yeah, girl's claims message. that Vishojo's cybersecurity team had advised Nux against releasing the currently? video. What Adding to the on? confusion, Project Melody had publicly criticized Nux for releasing the video, stating that he had disregarded their feelings and was prioritizing clicks. So what was the truth? Was this a colossal misunderstanding, an honest mistake, or something else? Vishojo then, in an attempt to shed light on the situation, released a blog post outlining their perspective, it's a move they stated wrong. that unfortunately required sharing private conversations to address the concerns. While acknowledging the seriousness of the allegations, Vishojo emphasized that issues of safety are not grounds for content and that they do not condone harassment. They also stated they would be moving their investigation back to a private level to protect the safety of all parties involved. Vishojo first addressed the concerning allegations but that they let individuals the in the dark and that they were still at risk of phishing attacks from the vishojo.org domain. They clarified that only two phishing attempts had been confirmed, yeah. one targeting Listen, just because only two attempts were made doesn't mean that that what Nux and the other still supposed Saki, to say something meaning piece of other shits. indie tubers were not at risk to further address the con how do you know i mean now they're not at risk because shit went public but what if they didn't go public what if Nux did not make the video would they have made a public statement would they concerns vishojo begun by showcasing their initial dms with Nux highlighting the potential harm of publicly releasing information that could hinder the investigation 
and compromised the case against the Swatter. They then showcased the DMs between Nux and the Vishojo represented Phoenix. Their concerns being that this person was seeking notoriety and making an announcement of it would only bolster them. Vishojo maintained they never gave Nux permission to release the video. Okay, listen, in, in all of this whole thing, no one's ever mentioned even the authorities. Police have not been mentioned. Like, I don't think you can make investigations without contacting police. And if, even if you do, would that, even, would that shit even fly in court? I don't think so. I'm not sure, but this is very weird to me. Like, it's like, bro, you're a VTuber firm. You can't just do shit. You can't just go around and arrest people. What are you doing? Explaining they had limited time to suggest edits and create a statement. The most damning accusation, however, was that Nux ignored their suggestion for edits. Which could explain the concern voiced by other VTubers yeah, and even some Melody. Names. The line staff's context, there is a negative history of interaction between Vishojo oh. and Nux that led us to proceed Hope with extreme are caution. Hints oh, at past yeah, issues that fueled on? Vishojo's cautious approach and perhaps more tension than we thought so behind the scenes. Phoenix is makes efforts to educate Nux on why it's a ban move which are ignored as was just in over now statements drafted to them we fought so behind the scenes is it on. simply the same accusations nianers mentioned about the secret voice call recording or something else like bay mentions in this screenshot that is one of the few mysteries that remain from this whole arc to this day. Vishojo then unveiled the full context of the screenshots Nux presented in his video. Now I gotta be fair to all parties here and okay. give this point to Vishojo. It seems give that the cybersecurity expert up, did what you mean? in fact <laughs> inform Nux that his investigation oh contained God. misinformation. This revelation shed light on a key point Nux made in his video. He claimed the doctor bragged about obtaining his information and that one of his fans conveniently in the same discord server alerted him huh? however vishojo's release dms revealed that this fan was likely working with the doctor oh, shit. phoenix the vishojo representative explicitly stated my comment is specifically about praising that one fan that reached out I am 99% certain that is a fellow member of the harassment gang harassment and gang. not a fan. Bro, Given first off, how much of a piece of shit do you got be in real life for you to make a harassment gang and harass people online? Like, like, come on, there's like pathetic human being. Then there's like, we go down the totem pole. There's a rat at some point and you're under the rat. You're like a, you're below the sewer rats. You're like a, like, like a fucking a shit, a sewer rat shit. I am a human shit, you're ratchet. That's how pathetic you are. Giving them the praise will make them focus more on harassing the VTuber community because they think they can manipulate people like this. The mm. concern is that they fed you fake info after showing you the genuine video and confession slash brag. Are they truly that she wanted to though? explain their strategy. Their MO is to do this good cop, bad cop thing, and this random fan does something to establish credibility and then uses that credibility to feed disinformation to the target. This means Nux was- Okay, yeah, that, that seems weird for Nux not to mention that in the video. Hmm. Likely given false information by the doctor's accomplice, potentially skewing his understanding of the situation. Mm -hmm. When Nux defended his decision to release the video, stating that it was irrelevant whether he was misinformed or not, Vishojo conceded, agreeing that his experience as a victim is absolutely valid. They also go on to say that their polite tone in their response to Nux was a result of treating him as a media professional. But to be fair to Nux and to Vishojo's own admittance, the wording on that wasn't firm enough or even clear enough. They claimed they wanted to give strong warnings, but in a nice way. But do you thank someone and even tell them? Give strong warnings, but in a... How do you give a strong warning in a nice way? I don't think that is possible. Them you appreciate it <laughs> after they did something hey, please do you this didn't want them to do? Fucking back your head with a hammer. Was he a little too eager to release this Probably. video? Sure. Did his excitement to share an interesting story blindside him? Perhaps. After all, he had been working you are on the video with for with someone else. I got to say that. He might have gotten a little overzealous, a little too content-brained 
about showing off the Not fruits of his pretty. labor. <laughs> and V. Shoujo turned out to be correct in claiming the information was wrong. Even though Nux claimed he had put the swatter behind bars, several videos by the alleged swatter himself were made taunting Nux Taku just a few days after the incident and showcasing how he had in fact tricked Nux. Mm. To all the kids in my comment sections threatening me like, you're gonna get what you deserve, Nux Taku didn't deserve any yeah, that's about the voice I expect of somebody doing this shit. I'm sorry, bro, but you sound like you were touched by the fucking devil, you piece of shit. Any of this, like, nothing even happened to him first of oh, all. Oh god, that voice is annoying. I didn't do anything to him. I'm doing, doing. Um, he made up the story just to get views on YouTube, so <laughs> I want to see you guys do something. Like, you guys are literally fucking harmless. If you're gonna threaten me, at least, like, keep your word and go through with it. You're not? Come on, brother. I, uh, I don't know, it's <laughs> just pathetic. laughing at it because it's literally so funny. Are you guys gonna do something to me or not? It's been two days. And oh my god, are you gonna do something to me or not? Nah. So, bro, you say this shit, but there's, there, hey, there's, there's some wild motherfuckers out there. Someone like gonna stab your ass. I don't think anything's gonna happen to me. <laughs> Ew. The fuck was that? Alright, bye guys. It's it just doing this person Ew. is really who he claims he is, Ew. but it's fairly certain the video of the Discord call was wrong along with several other information. In this case, Wait. Nux really- So you tell me that whole Nux video didn't do shit. Okay, that's pretty bad. He did, he the just video didn't do that. Will only serve as a warning to the real doxer that an investigation is going on. That could explain the talent's fear of seeing this video go live. Mm. But does any of this information relate to the backlash you received on Twitter from the Vishojo girls? Not necessarily. I think everyone can agree that it should have been handled privately. And I believe that stems more from a lack of communication. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that shit should be handled privately. I think Vishojo should have made a statement immediately as they understood that this shit was happening. So that people don't actually fall for this shit. Okay, that is my. I think Vishoji is a piece of shit for not going public with this immediately. Is that they understood that somebody was using their name to uh, fuck with people? I that is my opinion. I think Vishoji is a piece of shit. Now, is it also possible Nux is a piece of shit? Absolutely. Why not everybody to be a piece of shit? We live in the real world. There ain't no heroes and villains. Maybe everybody is a piece of shit in this whole situation. I think Vishoji is a hundred percent a piece of shit. Girls, or even between Vishoji talents and Nux himself. After all, they prioritize catching one motherfucker over the safety of a, lot, a shit ton of people. Maybe. I mean, we don't know how many people like got this caught by that shit. shouldn't have come but... as a surprise to anyone, especially not if you're friends or even acquainted. On November 29th, Nux published a video Moving titled forward. Moving Forward. In the video, Nux discusses how the situation had caused him significant anxiety and that his primary objective was now to de-escalate the conflict. This meant that no additional receipts would be shown and he would cease discussing the situation altogether, okay. putting it behind him. Ultimately, Fair all enough. parties involved issued apologies. Iron Mouse's and Zentria's apologies particularly stood out and were praised by the community for their Praise. transparency and accountability. <laughs> Praise and apology, oh god, what, where have we come to, brother? Humanity. Centria posted a tweet longer from? apologizing for getting her community involved and for making tweets that riled up everyone due to her seeing her friends being harassed by members of the community and felt like she had to defend them. She then went one step further and posted a second public apology under his recent video stating, I would personally, since I fucked up publicly, feel the need to apologize publicly to you from my part in this and inciting people as well during this situation. As you stated, I do not condone hate mobs at all and wish to move forward on peaceful terms. Okay. I am sorry. And that apology is still up to this day. Same with Iron Mouses, who in a heartfelt statement apologized for her public outbursts, acknowledging the potential for unintended consequences when sharing personal feelings online. She expressed regret for any discomfort caused and pledged to focus on resolving future conflicts privately. No she also extended a sincere apology to Nux, emphasizing that she harbored no ill will toward him. 
Okay. In a subsequent stream, she further elaborated oh, on the damn, situation, clarifying that they were not informed Jesus. by management about their conversation with Nux prior to the video release. She expressed that she won't delete her tweet, explaining that it serves as a reminder to avoid making hasty conclusions in the future. This incident highlights an important lesson. Mistakes are common, but the ability to learn from them distinguishes negative experiences from positive ones. After all, the only way to avoid mistakes is to gain experience, and the only way to gain experience well, is to... Listen, not necessarily. Sometimes, yeah, listen, you don't need to go in front of a moving car to know that if a car hits you, shit goes bad, okay? Sometimes we learn through other people's mistakes, and that is probably the way the best way to learn about mistakes you don't have to make every single mistake out there in order to learn through them okay let's, make let's, mistakes let's put the stop but all two bit. tweets as well apologizing oh. publicly and providing further okay. clarifications so but failing to name nux by name which brought on oh. some criticism Okay. PR moves on, Yanners. I Vain see you. Fruit also issued their own apologies. Let's apologize me privately yesterday. What was that? As I apologize to him for subtweeting as a creator. Also issued their own apologies. As for Project Melody, she only put out a tweet affirming her support for her group, which was a bit Damn. lackluster considering the big question mark that homies. remained on her involvement Shit. with this homies situation. No more, I guess. And even though all parties apologized and the air was supposed to be cleared, their collapse almost came to a standstill, with the exception of a few rare ones. Mm. While understandable, the hasty attempts to move past the incident left several questions unanswered, fueling further speculation, Did they catch them debate, up, and frustration among the, the big community. Question. To this day, this is a conversation that keeps coming back up even three years later. This, in fact, has been my most requested video Damn. ever. So thank you ever. for waiting so long for me to make hey, this video. Okay. Due to its sensitive nature... Alright, that was... Okay, I am still kind of confused. I'm gonna be honest with you, I still think we showed you the piece of shit for not going public on that. But besides that, I... I don't know, I think everybody's just a moron in this whole situation, which is entirely possible. If everyone went too hasty, they did not think shit through. They ganged up on him. He did some dumb ass shit by releasing a video that didn't do anything, supposedly. And yeah, I think everybody's just a moron. Which, I guess, it's, it's real as you can get. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this whole drama thing. Do you think anybody was right? Who do you think was right? V you showed you Nux? Let me know in the comments. I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. Have a good day.